from the bottom to the top in three, two, one, go. Very good. Vocab words, definitions real quickly. Read the word. Might. Okay. There's our sentences. We I read these yesterday. You don't have to read these out loud because we did it yesterday. I can't deny it. It does get a mite windy out here on the prairie. He was just a mite upset about winning second place in the race. Turn to a partner that's close to you and tell them what might means, please. A little bit. What does might mean? Tad. Okay. Tad. Who thinks they got it with their partners? Jonathan, what'd you have? Like a little bit or like a tad bit. A, a tiny bit or a little bit. Let's check it out. Read the definition for me in three, two, one. Tiny, tiny bit. bit. Tiny bit, was he right? Yeah. Very good. Next word. Read it for me. Distinctly. Read it louder. Distinctly. Here's your sentences. I remember distinctly the first prairie wind that came scampering along. Sentence two, the teacher spoke distinctly so that everyone would understand the instructions. Turn to your partner and tell them what distinctly means. Go. Clearly. 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 Yeah. Two yeah. words more. Clearly. Morgan's already got it. You got your group over there, got it? Morgan, explain what it is, please. Clear. Eyes on me, please. Jonathan. You have two choices. You have one choice to read it independently. If you choose to read it independently, you have six questions to answer. They will be on our projector here. Okay? You have to answer the questions using complete sentences. And what's the last criteria you need to have if you want to do this again? If you want to do it independently, what do you have to do? You have to have a P. You have to get a P in your questions, right? You have to get proficient. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to read to discover today. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you sections of the book to read. We're going to read it all together at once, but you're going to read it to yourself. And then I have some lucky winner of my choosing pick a card, and we're going to do what the card tells us to do, okay? okay. As a group, and that's going to be our discussion, okay? That's what's going to lead our discussion. Now, there is a lot of figurative language in this book. What kind of figurative language? How did we get the winner again? You book a how do you get the winner? Yeah. My brain just computes it out well, and it comes out my mouth. What do you have to do to like not do You just have to be a good reader, sit there quietly, and maybe the brain will pick you, right? <laughs> okay, figurative language. What figurative language uses exaggeration? What word, what, what word is that for exaggeration? Remember our figurative language packets that we did in writing? This uses a lots of figurative language and it uses lots of exaggeration, okay? What word means using lots of exaggeration? Between the words simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, and... Metaphor. Onomatopoeia. Which one means exaggeration? Kim? Hyperbole? Hyperbole. What's hyperbole mean? <coughs> Can anybody give me an example of hyperbole? John? Um, he was so hurt, he practically went into a coma. <laughs> there he go. That's an awesome one. Okay, you guys give him a round of applause. He was so hurt, he practically went into a coma. My feet are killing me. Can your feet kill you? No. Yeah. Not likely, okay? If they are, you've got some problems, right? <laughs> so it uses a lot of hyperbole in here. It also uses a lot of simile. What's a simile? Brayden, did you pick a card for us, buddy? Since you wanted to so bad, I'll let you pick a card for us and read it to the group. Can I do it next? Uh -huh. What is the author's purpose for this story? Ooh, great question. What's the author's purpose for this story? <laughs> What's the purpose of him writing this, okay? Think about it. Is he writing this to scare people? <laughs> no, okay? Tell, let's see here. You partner with Aaron, you guys partners, Lord, you and John partner, me and Christian are partner real quick. Tell your partner, what do you think, why is the art author writing this story? Go ahead and tell each other real quick for about 10 seconds. Yeah, it's a team. It's a team. It was a book I said, it was a comic. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you read 61? Okay. What did we what did we come up with? Aaron, what did you guys come up with? Uh, why is he why did he write this? Entertainment. Entertainment? What makes do you guys agree that he wrote this to be entertaining? Yeah. yeah. What, what, yeah. what example from the story makes you think that this is written for entertainment? 
What's it's entertaining about it? Because it has so many similes. It has so many similes? Okay, can you give me an example of those? Lisa, you got one? A simile? Or just. Okay, listen to the question. Make a prediction. Make a prediction, okay, of what we've been reading so far. So what can we predict is going to happen? Okay? Let's think about what's happened so far first before we make a prediction, okay? Before we what's happened so far, okay? We go back, okay? What was in the air flying around in a V? Tell your partners real quick. What was in the air? Okay? What was it, Morgan? Jackrabbits. Jackrabbits. And they're flying in a V. What other kind of animals fly in Vs? Everybody. Geese. Geese or ducks, right? So do jackrabbits really fly in the air? No. What's keeping them in the air? The wind. Wind, okay? Now as we go on, this wind is snapping at their heels, okay? Trying to, wh where do they go from there? They were outside, where do they go from there? Tell your partners where they go from there. Inside Where do they go? Inside the they go inside the house, okay? They shut the door once they're inside the house, right? Okay? Wind tries to sneak around, get in the back door. How do they stop it from getting in the back door? Tell your partner that one. Oh, Aaron. Aaron, what did they use to block that back door? Um, um, his mother's heavy biscuits. Yeah, biscuits that were really heavy, okay? More exaggeration. Is there any biscuits that you've known that you could pile up behind the door and uh, keep the door shut? No. no. Probably not, right? So those are some more exaggeration. So, this wind is swirling around the house. They've got it they're themselves locked in. So let's make a prediction to your partners of what's going to happen next now. Okay. Go ahead, make a prediction. They are, uh, I think they're going to be worried about the top because um, um, since the wind is so hard, I think they're going to be worried about the top soil because since the wind is so hard, it can like scratch off. Or maybe it will break down. You know that top soil that can grow anything? Mm-hmm. Well, if they put the Okay, let's think of each group's prediction. Real quickly, Morgan, what did you and John predict? Um, we, I predicted that maybe. Um, John, want to help her? Um, didn't you predict that um they would go outside and find everything? Oh, yeah. Go outside, and find everything messed up because the wind is kind of almost like a tornado, mess throwing everything around. What did you guys predict? Knew that maybe they were like going through the chimney. Oh, we're going for the first cut, huh? Make a connection with what you just read. Make a connection with what you just read. You guys know, remember what it means to make connections, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? With your partners, make a connection with what you just read. What, how can you connect that to something that you've experienced in your own life? Oh, really? What, 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 what we've read. Sure. Whatever. Talk to your partners about it. <laughs> like that recess that one day, that one day, like with the wind and the bird. Uh, recess that one day when it almost felt like that was gonna like blow away. And it was really fun on the swing. Uh, hopefully the wind got pushing you. Oh, like, uh, the wind is still strong, you go up and you don't come down. And then a few minutes later, so that's Joe. Yeah. Why did you sit up there for a few minutes? I am. Actually, not like it. Uh, I should go down there, but it was just a bar. One did stop. Alright, fourth graders, real quick, in the interest of time here. Christian, why don't you share your connection with you made? Um, I need to. Last year in third grade, there's this this big snowstorm in Rifle. And um, the funny thing, you know, about it was my dad locked me outside for five minutes and then they kicked me back. And my dad's like, wow, well, you, well, you stayed out there for five minutes. Okay, so you remembered a really like windy time, right? And it's a funny story. You connected from that story to his life, okay? Aaron, what about you? Let's take a couple. Um, when at recess that one day, when it felt like that, um, we were gonna blow away. Yeah, like there was a really windy day at recess, as you guys remember, right?